social media has become an integral part of our daily lives. It is an excellent tool for communication, entertainment, and socialization. However, it has become a trap for some people leading to addiction which affects their mental and physical health. In this advocacy video, we follow the stories of three individuals who have struggled with social media addiction and managed to break free. We meet our first character, Eunice, sitting on her couch, scrolling through her phone. She looks tired and disconnected from her surroundings. Her story describes how she started using social media to keep up with her friends and family. However, it quickly became a habit and she found herself spending hours scrolling through her feed. I felt like I couldn't put down my phone. It was like a part of me. Our second character, Glyna, is sitting at her desk, staring at her laptop. She started using social media to connect with her classmates and stay updated with the latest trends. However, she soon found herself spending hours on end on social media, neglecting her studies and hobbies. I stay up all night, scrolling TikTok and Instagram. I know it's affecting my grades, but I couldn't stop. Our third character, Eunice, scrolls through her phone. She started using social media to cope with her loneliness and anxiety. However, she found herself becoming more isolated as she preferred the online world to real-life interactions. I felt like social media was my only friend. It was a safe space where I could be myself, but it was also a trap that kept me from living my life. Suddenly, they get a notification that snaps them out of their trance. They realize how much time they've wasted on social media and how disconnected they've become from the world around them. They decided to take action and break free from the social media trap. Eunice is starting to set a limit on her social media usage. She deletes the apps from her phone and only checks them on her laptop for a limited amount of time each day. She lists her hobbies and interests and starts pursuing them again. Glyna, taking a break from social media altogether. She deactivated her accounts and focused on her studies and hobbies. She starts reading more books and her grades start improving. Eunice decided to seek help for her anxiety and loneliness. She makes an effort to connect with people in real life, and we see her smile and laugh with new friends, and her confidence and happiness improve. In conclusion, social media addiction is a real problem that affects millions of people worldwide. It can lead to mental and physical health problems, as well as isolation and disconnection from the world around us. However, there is a way out. By setting limits, taking breaks, and seeking help, we can break free from the social media trap and live fulfilling lives. <laughs>